All right, welcome everyone to, uh, to Kubernetes Edge Day. It's uh, really great to finally see everyone out and about, enjoying themselves, interacting with our peers, with our community. It's been a lo very long two years. Now, Edge is one of the hottest topics in the Kubernetes ecosystem, and presumably why we're all here to talk about. We at Spectra Cloud are very proud sponsors for this event, and we hope that we can tell you a little bit more about how we see Edge in the coming future. So why are we really here? Well, beyond the great content that we'll be going through today and talking about, right, we think that Edge is in a really important event over here. It's an opportunity for all of us to evaluate and re-architect what a new solution could look like with modern requirements of a modern Kubernetes management platform. If we're successful, all of the edge Kubernetes learnings and information that we provide and we are able to build, we can apply it also to regular Kubernetes. In other words, if we get edge right, we get to apply the same learnings to managing Kubernetes at scale. We see it every day when we talk to our customers just like you, that edge Kubernetes enables compelling real use cases powerful enough to unlock new business models. And Edge is not just about an IT location. It's about enabling innovation wherever the customers are. It's about providing experiences that were never thought possible before. Edge is really transforming industries. And if you really think about it, we've been talking about it for quite some time. So the real question is, what do we want the next era of our Edge Kubernetes to really be? Talking to people like you, and you'll hear from others like GE today, we think that Edge Kubernetes needs a few different attributes. It needs to be lightweight, right? In order for the economics to really work, we need to have not only a single N, but N plus one configurations are just too costly. It needs to be cost efficient in the terms of being able to work on a single, on a single commodity hardware. Um, and it needs to be, even for small form factors, being able to support it end to end. We need to be able to scale it from not only hundreds, but thousands of clusters under management. Not only the actual Kubernetes systems, but the management planes have to be able to support that end to end. Uh, we need to be open and flexible to all the technologies and tooling in and around of Kubernetes, whether, whether these are open source technologies or even commercial technologies. And these should be driven not by the actual requirements of the, of the underlying hardware, but by the application requirements. And it needs to be autonomous, right? We think about running Kubernetes at the edge in the most disparate locations that are very challenging. For us to be able to support edge reliably, it needs to be able to work not only for environments that have limited connectivity, but even potentially no connectivity. And of course, it needs to be easy. If you think about the skill set required to actually manage Kubernetes at scale, it's very difficult. Do we really want to hire an army of Kubernetes experts who are there to manage and troubleshoot the entire Kubernetes management platform at your retail restaurants, at your coffee shops, at each of your different hospitals? The answer should be obvious, it's no. And by the way, when we think about all the various integrations that go into Kubernetes, there's a plethora of options to choose from. We are big believers in not having to sacrifice the freedom of choice to get the control that you need to run Kubernetes at scale. And the Edge is no exception. So let's take a look at some of the more interesting projects that are making a difference for Edge. Starting with the operating system, Ubuntu, of course, is a very popular open source operating system in Kubernetes environments. However, when it comes to Edge, resiliency and consistency is equally important, and we need to build immutable operating systems that can be provided using something like Ubuntu Core or Flatcart OS Linux. When it comes to the Kubernetes distribution, the Edge's hardware requirements may dictate what are the actual requirements of the distro. Right? Great examples of purpose-built Edge distributions include like Canonical Micro Kubernetes, which has, goes the extra mile for supporting extra performance as well as security, or we are looking at other solutions like Rancher K3S. Uh, one thing to also note regarding the, Kubernetes regarding the Kubernetes distribution, it's just one piece of the puzzle. For Kubernetes to really scale in effect, there are many other layers that you have to bring in. On the networking side, observability is key. So Calico is a safe option that everybody uses, but isovalent Cilium 
provides out of the box performant network policies along with observability across all the layers from layers three to layer seven. On the storage side, Portworx is a great example of a distributed storage that has a edge optimized and validated reference architecture. But there are also other open source technologies to choose from, whether you're talking about OpenEBS or Rook Ceph or others. As you can imagine, there are many other awesome integrations and toolings available that fit into a modern Kubernetes management platform, whether it's for an actual general clusters or whether it's for the edge. Other areas to consider tooling would include securing your applications at the edge, right, using potentially technologies like OPA and Caverno. We have technologies that provide rich metrics and observability uh, using service meshes, uh, or even managing the state of all your applications at scale with something like GitOps through Argo CD or Flux. So if there's one thing that I can leave you here with, it's the possibilities for edge Kubernetes are here and they are real. So be bold, be demanding, and build the edge that you really want with the tooling and technologies that you need. We really hope that you enjoy the day and we'll, would love to hear you see later today at the new Stack Tapas event. Uh, we'll be talking about some Kubernetes edge requirements in detail. We'll also be having free food and drinks. Uh, please also stop by our booth as S57 to see our Kubernetes management platform in action, uh, both for enterprise Kubernetes as well as for edge Kubernetes. Uh, on behalf of Spectral Cloud and CNCF, have a wonderful event, and thank you.